morning welcome back to my channel <laughs> looks like i have mud all over my face but i have tanner all over my face i really wanted to show you guys how i sunless tan my face um I, i'm sure many people do i basically use a bronzer brush to contour i'll still show you um but just obviously not now because it's already done and i can't put it on again or i'll be looking crazier than i already am once i wash it off i'll be fine but anyways um it's like nine o'clock. I spent my morning, I'm looking at my neighbor. I hope he cannot see me. Whatever it is what it is. Uh, I spent my morning waking up to a lovely person on Instagram saying that uh, I had left my address in my previous video. And I was like, oh, thank you so much for letting me know. And I really appreciate them coming to me on Instagram and telling me versus in the comments of the YouTube video. Cause then it just like creates this big long thing. But I mean, Good luck to anybody who tries to get in here. We got security, we got cameras, it's gated, it's it's locked down, but regardless, you know, you can never be too safe. So I edited, I re-edited the video, uploaded it, all that stuff. So sorry if you'd already seen it, but I, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I didn't wanna just like delete the video and not post it again. So anyways, spent my morning doing that, answered some comments or responded to some comments and whatnot. Um, and that's been, my morning so far i uh, got my coffee going we're three three creamer three servings of creamer today because i don't know i'm just feeling feeling it like i want i want it to be really 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 good also i forget how great sleep is because arlo's been honestly sleeping through the night for the past like two weeks thanks thank heavens like seriously because he was like teething and it was just like a whole thing and he's been sleeping so well lately Oh, it's great. So I'm feeling refreshed, feeling good. Um, gonna get a leg workout in today and then we're gonna clean the closet. I still haven't fully transferred my summer clothes into my closet and vice versa because it's still kind of been weird, but we're, we're in May now, like it's full on time. And if I need to bust out a sweater, I can go grab a sweater. But anyways, we're doing that today so i'm going to take you along with me on a little closet clean out i need to get back on my poshmark game it's just so hard because it's like storing it like our place isn't big i'm gonna see anyway it's hard to like sit on those clothes and like you know just sit them off to the side because i have a lot that i need to like get rid of but anyways i donated a lot of them so anywho i'm gonna try doing that because last time i had stuff up at my poshmark and then i realized like i just donated it because i was like this is just never ending and then someone decided to buy it and I was like uh oh I sold it or I didn't sell it I donated it hi I have not vlogged since this morning I think I don't even know um it's like 1 30 now I um went to the gym and then came back went for a walk we're currently like digging up our whole yard and everything so I was talking to Scott about that we need new grass we're gonna do pavers with some flowers all that stuff so i was talking to him for that i'm talking to him about that for a bit and then um yeah we went on like an hour walk me and miss weenie so i figured this vlog is definitely going to be like a couple of days because i haven't vlogged like anything today <laughs> sorry i'm the worst i don't know i'm just kind of like bleh, tired but i'm going to be washing my hair a little treatment on my hair so i'm going to do Olaplex number three. I'll show you how I apply that. And then I'm going to do um, the system of Olaplex. So three and four. Is it three and four? Four and five? I don't know. Four and five. Definitely not three and four. <laughs> Olaplex number three. Get it together. And then four and five, which is, or actually, I'm just going to do four of the shampoo because then I'm going to use the deep conditioner number five or number eight. I cannot talk to save my life, which honestly I feel like it doesn't make sense. The deep conditioner should be six, the oil should be, or the cream, leave-in cream should be seven, and the oil should be eight, but who am I to judge? Anywho, I'll show you how I apply all that because Olaplex can be very, I don't know, confusing, I guess, if you don't know the system and a lot of people actually do it incorrectly. These are the products I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna start off by wetting my hair, like dampening it to like towel dry, um, and then apply number three, which I probably won't use, maybe almost the whole thing of that. 
Um, and then I will, so you let that sit for like 20, at least 10 minutes. I typically do it for like 20 minutes. Um, and then I will shampoo it out with the number four in the shower. Typically I'll go in with number five, which is the traditional conditioner, but today we're gonna use the Bond Intense Moisture Mask, which I've yet to try, so hopefully I like those. Um, but yeah, I love these and the number five um, products so, so much. So let's do that to hopefully bring this hair back to life. This really isn't the best angle, but we're gonna make it work. So I don't put number three on my whole head, depending, you can. I typically just put it on the links. I don't even know what it says to do. From scalp to ends. I don't, I literally just put it from here down because that's where I have damage. Up here, I don't have really a ton of damage, but I will mostly saturate it on here and bring it up to the tips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my hair damp in the sink. I know this is weird, but do it in the sink. I guess you could shower as well, but we're just gonna use the sink. <laughs> a spray bottle would work really well as well. I just don't have one. And it's okay to do this on dirty hair. It does not need to be clean because you need to thoroughly cleanse it out. Right. So now, once it's pretty saturated, I go through and just kind of towel dry it a little bit. I did above, I did probably up to here for dampness, not all over my entire scalp. But that's just what I find that I need for my hair because most of my damage is in bond repairing needs to be done from like honestly just like this but whatever we're gonna do a whole thing all right I'm gonna just this is one of those tangle tamers I will link one down below I like one of these better than for this part better than like a wet brush I just feel like this is more of like a hair brush and this is good for like combing product through so I'm just gonna gently Start at the bottom and work my way up. My hair is so thin um, that it gets really tangled really easy. So I have to gently brush through it really quick before I put product on to make sure that it soaks all the way through. So I'll start out with about that much on one side of my hair. So I start at the ends and work upwards, really focusing. I get a lot of damage down below as well, just breakage, not necessarily damage, but so I really focus on the ends and then bring up whatever is left up to the roots. You don't need like a ton. It doesn't need to be like what you think of when you use a deep conditioner. Like it needs to be like coating the hair. Like it just needs to thoroughly saturate it. And combing through it beforehand, I just feel like makes it easier to make sure I've saturated everything. So we have that guy on. All right, now let's go into the next. So once we have it fully on the hair, it has a smell, it has a salon smell. So you definitely 100% on the ends and then just continue to bring it up towards the roots or wherever your main damage is. And now we let it sit for a couple minutes. I just throw it in like a claw clip and let it just chill. And then we shower it out. And then I'll be trying this and I'll let you know my final thoughts on that as well. Okay, something bit me like on the forehead. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. But anyways, I got out of the shower a while ago. Um, I liked the number eight. I had to use a surprising amount of it. I had to use quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. But I did like it. Um, I was sitting, chilling on my bed. I used one of these like, aqueous hair wrappy thingy majiggies. Love this thing. So I just wrap my hair in this after I get out of the shower. Um, but before, oh, hold on. Can't see him. Before I wrap it up, I put in a little bit of this guy. This is the Kerastase resistance it basically is just for damaged hair it strengthens brittle hair i feel like it's kind of like olaplex is number six but either way i've been using this 
on and off for a while. Um, I broke the cap, so that's fun. But it's just like a creamy sort of leave-in conditioner sort of thing. Um, I do really like Carousel's products, and then I'm gonna go in with oil. So I put that in damp hair, just because I feel like I need it to be on damp hair, because if it's too dry or if I put it on now, I feel like it kind of weighs it down. Put it on, put my hair directly in there, didn't brush anything out, and now I'm brushing it out with the other wet brush that I have, which is the actual wet brush. And then I just start at the ends and then kind of work my way up. Okay. I would say my hair is probably like 70% dry at this point. Um, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of this Kerastase Elixir Ultime, whatever. I've used quite a bit of this stuff. I enjoy it, which is why I don't have the Olaplex six and seven, just because I have this stuff still. So I put a good amount of that in my, and then just run through. Some people's hair can like take this when it's dry. My hair can't. Because like I was saying, I have very thin hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's very thin. So this angle is perfection. <laughs> Lying. Okay. So pretty much the ends of my hair are dry and the roots of my hair are dry. Um, and just this kind of part is just not. So I'm gonna let it air dry. There we go. I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna blow dry. And oh, yes, it's worth it, honestly. It's worth it. Scott got it for, for me for Christmas and yeah, it's the Dyson hair dryer. Um, I've used the air wrap before. It didn't hold in my hair. I don't know if maybe I did it wrong. I don't know, but I've used it before, but I just really enjoy this thing. It cuts down the drying time significantly and I don't dry my hair all the time most every time I wash my hair I do but I let it air dry like a good portion and then I go in and just finish it off with this guy so come, on. come here come here come here come on, come on buddy uh -oh. come on good job yay come, come on. on good job good job good job <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, so as you can tell, because I inserted the clip, Arlo took his first steps today. That video wasn't the first time he took it. It was like his second or third. I was in the kitchen like seasoning broccoli and I was on one side of the kitchen and he was like at the microwave, which is on the other side. And all of a sudden he like stands up to the microwave and just starts walking towards me. And I was just like, and Scott was down in the yard and I was like screaming and it was just so, I don't know. It's crazy because, you know, every stage is fun and every stage is hard having a baby, right? It's fun, it's hard, it's, when people say newborn stage is the hardest, they're lying. <laughs> but at every stage I feel like you just get more equipped to handle, I don't know how to explain it, it's just so amazing. But tonight was probably one of the most amazing moments we had had besides obviously his birth but you're just in shock and everything's crazy but like it was just seeing the look on his face of how proud of himself he was and we were so proud of him and it was just this like moment of like oh my god you just wait for it to happen right and it happened so that was such a cool feeling but of, of course it was accompanied and I don't want to say this like I don't want to be a broken record but it's my life so of course it was accompanied by like wanting to text my mom and tell my mom obviously and like I already could imagine what she was gonna say and it's just I'm not gonna cry I swear it's hard you know wanting to to tell her all this stuff so I just take a moment and I say it you know in my head and and I feel like she's there I don't know I know I'm crazy but <laughs> it's been a it's really been weighing on me a lot um, obviously with Mother's Day coming up it's not easy but I'm so like I try to remember how thankful I am that we were all together last Mother's Day so it was like Scott's mom and his brothers and sisters and my mom and we had a pool day and we cooked out and it was was amazing so I try to remember that moment um, that I'm so blessed that I got to spend her last Mother's Day with her um, and my first Mother's Day with her and like then we were talking about it again another, another thing that came up 
Scott was like, you know, we were trying to figure out, um, he had bought tickets to go to this Van Gogh exhibit that's happening in Dallas and I wanted to go and he was like, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna just buy these tickets because I really want us to go and there's literally like two days left. And he's like, don't, cause I already bought them. They were gonna be a surprise for Mother's Day. And I was like, Mother's Day, but I was like, and he was like, yeah, but I bought it for September. And I'm like, well, maybe that should just be our anniversaries from when we got engaged. And then we were thinking about when did we get engaged? And then it was September 18th and obviously, like I had to look that up, I'm terrible with dates. But then it was like literally 11 days after that, my mom passed away. And it's just like, it's almost like she had to go, right? Or she was, she was going, but it's like they held out for like, that one special moment for her to be there. I don't know, Ugh, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm just like a bearer of like sadness on these videos and I hate that, but honestly it's just like, it's, this channel and this, these videos are about me and my life and what's going on and, and um, sometimes I just need to talk through it. So I don't know. I just feel like the last year of my life was craziness and I'm so crazy in all the greatest ways and I'm just so thankful that I had her for that this past year. And there are gonna be moments where I look back in the next coming years and I want her there for big things that happen and she's not gonna be there but I need to remember all the things she was able to be there for so. Ugh, sorry, sobby, sobby mess. Um, I think I'm going to uh, put my hair in rollers, hot rollers. I don't know, Scott's at Home Depot picking up bricks for our yard and I'm like, I don't know, there's really not much I wanna watch on TV. So I'm probably gonna see what's on Discovery Plus and play around with my hair cause I washed it today. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I kinda wanna play around with it. I haven't put hot rollers in my hair in forever. So, let's do that. It's a hot roller set that I have. It's just a Remington. I've had it, like I'm, I never use it. I used to hot roller my hair all the time when I was in high school. Again, that's kind of triggering because my mom <laughs> used to do my hair every morning. <sighs> Anywho, I now know what the word triggered means. I get it, I get it, I get it. Anywho, this is the set that I have. It's felt, and normally I like this like spiky ones, but we're gonna try these out. Like I said, I think I've only played around with these like one other time, so it's been a hot minute. And then the clips, I just have them ignore our disgusting bathroom. Oh, they come with two different clips. I think I like these clips better. I don't know, I had a set in high school that I was obsessed with and I don't remember what it was, but it was so good. But anyways, we're gonna try these out tonight and I'll document it and show you guys how it goes. But I used to love to hot roller my hair. My mirror's probably filthy as well. But anyways. Yeah. All right, well, I'm heating this up. I'm watching American Detective on Hulu. And um, oh, I cleaned my mirror. I wanted to share with you guys. My mom introduced Do we not see a trend? Do you not understand why I get upset so many times because how amazing my mom was? Okay, anyways. <laughs> Anna introduced me to these microfiber towels and I'd had them forever and I never used them because I was like, that's weird, mom, whatever. I've had them now for probably like, well, she gave them to me in college, but I've been using them regularly for, I don't know, like maybe four years, three years. Amazing. You just get them wet. I'll link them down below. You just get them wet with water and they clean the mirror. So like my mirror, notoriously, it gets disgusting from like washing my face and stuff. It's clean. You can just use one of these. Anyhow, another side note. I was thinking, do you remember like what's in your shower videos? Do you, does anyone recall those videos? Do you remember those? Would y'all like to see like what's in my bathroom? Like in terms of like, <laughs> this drawer's a mess. Like what's in here? <laughs> and does anybody want to see this? And what's in there? Ah, it's somewhat organized. I swear it's all in little bins. I know what I'm doing, but. Do y'all want to see that? Is that interesting? I'm like a full one grammar right now. <laughs> I put them all in. Um, I 
think I didn't like these because they were too small. I wish they were larger. So, I don't know. We're going to try it. So, we're going to see. The key with rollers is to make sure you get your ends in. And that just takes practice so that your ends aren't all like cray cray. So, we'll see. I'll leave this in for probably about a half hour, 20 minutes and see what they're looking like or until they cool down. Um, I did spray a little bit of... Because my hair was fresh out of the shower, I sprayed a little bit of this Bumble and Bumble thickening, B&B thickening, dry spun finish. I know it's a finishing spray, but it just gave me a little bit of texture. So, now, I look like a grandma. And that's very good for Why? It is 8.30 or a little bit before 8.30. I'm on my way. I'm not on my way to the gym. I'm dressed and ready to go to the gym though. Um, My hair fell very like significantly fell from the curls last night. That's also because I didn't fully blow dry my hair. If you're struggling with your curls holding, you really fully need to get your hair bone dry with a um, blow dryer. And I didn't fully... Let it dry that way. I kind of let it half dry, then air dried, or let it air dry, then blow dried, then let the rest air dry. But anyways, um, overall, if you like that look, I will leave the link to the ones that I purchased. I prefer a more like blown out sort of look, so I prefer larger barrel hot rollers, which I will leave the ones listed that I'm going to be purchasing instead. Um, also, if you have more layers in your hair, it's going to look a lot different. I have like zero layers in my hair. Um, all of those sort of things affect it. So yeah, it was just fun to play around with last night. But anyways, I'm getting an early start this morning because I'm going to grab lunch with a friend later or something. It's, it's Cinco de Mayo. Um, but regardless, we're just going to grab something. I don't know, grab lunch or grab a drink. There is a place that I really wanted to try called Jolio. It's a new Tex-Mex restaurant, but it's their grand opening today. It's, um, if you follow her, I don't know if you do, but Courtney Kerr, she used to be on a show called Dallas back, back in the day on Bravo. Um, but she's just like an influencer in Dallas and I, and I really like her. Her husband fiance fiance husband i don't know what he is he owns the rustic but he also just opened this and i was like "Ooh, that could be cool but then we'll see i have no idea we're gonna figure it out but i'm gonna get in the gym now um just because i know i'm gonna be eating some stuff that i don't normally eat today and that is totally fine but i just want to get in my um workout this morning this vlog is gonna be the most random compilation of days i don't even know where we're at, what I have, anything like that. But I'm headed over to Target um, because I have some things that I need to return for Arlo. And um, yeah, I need to get him swimmy diapers too. Um, but anywho, headed to Target. Had a slow start to my day, not even gonna lie. Went out for Seco de Mayo yesterday, so mm -hmm. had some fun. But anywho. Um, running over to Target, I want to find a, I just saw like an influencer, an Instagrammer vlog or like post about some sticky bra that they have at Target. And I was like, Ooh, I want to try that. Cause I've actually never tried one. And so, um, for that blue dress that I have, I just needed a bra option. So I was going to look at that. Hello. We're going to do a mini Target haul. Cause I got some Target goodies. Hi. All right. So, got some stuff I wanted to share with you. First being this bra. This is the adhesive, super light adhesive bra. I've never tried any, uh, <clears throat> I've tried a backless bra before, but like it was in high school. I'll try this on and show you. <clears throat> but anyways, got a D size in that one in case you're wondering. I also got this little bra. It's like a bralette. I really just wanted this in a billion different colors. It's only 10 bucks. Um, it does have pads, but they're pretty movable. But I thought these would just be nice for like going on walks and things like this when I don't want to wear like a traditional bra. 
Um, <clears throat> I got this little tank, which I would have gotten it in other colors as well, but they didn't have my size in other colors. I got it in a medium. I like this color, like green. It's ribbed, $8. I'll, I'll try it on for you. Uh, <laughs> got Arlo some toothpaste and a toothbrush because he's not started brushing. I have not started brushing his teeth yet. <laughs> So I need you. I got these little thank you cards that are just cute. I got them for Arlo's teachers. He has five of them. Um, well, he had three of them and now he has two of them. Um, and so we got them Starbucks gift cards and whatnot, you know, teacher appreciation stuff. Then these are like my favorite little shirts to put him in. They're the Cat and Jack. They've got like a rolled sleeve. They're kind of like a heathered sort of material and they have a curved back. They're just so cute. I We have them in every single color. They're four dollars from uh, Cat and Jack, and I get a two T, even though he's a year old. For a bathing suit, I got this little rash guard in the two T, just basic, little plain, whatever. And then these little bottoms to match it. So this is gonna be his little swimmies. How cute are those? So I think that's everything I got. And then gift cards. Let's try on these things and see. Winnie, stop biting your toes. Does anyone else's dog bite their toes because of allergies? Hey, no bites. Okay, let's try this stuff on. Ugh. Utterly confused by this sticky bra situation. It does nothing. It's weird. I don't, I don't know. I will keep it probably because of the fact that I feel like I'll use it for certain things. Definitely not this, but I love this tank. I don't know if you can see it. I love the color. I just have my body suit pulled down. But anyways, love the color. Love everything about this. I want those in other colors. I'll link it down below. It's $8, you guys. So good. This bra, so not good. Do not like. Anywho. Oh, well. Again, I know this looks insanely weird, but because of the thing, whatever. I love this. Like It is so soft. The bra pads don't really bother me at all. I like these. A lot i want these in other colors but i have like a pink i really wanted the purple but these are just nice they're just like lounge bras so everything will be linked down below for you guys